okay today we are going to discuss about trigonometric ratios trigonometric ratios now i am taking the one right angle triangle it is a right angle triangle in this it is a right angle triangle we have two acute angles so here this is we are taking as a theta it is a triangle a b c right angle triangle at b so now i am taking let angle b a c is equal to theta then here what is a b c what is a b c b c is opposite side opposite side to the angle theta it is opposite side to angle theta and what is ab ab is adjacent adjacent side to angle theta so now here it is a 90 degrees the opposite side to 90 degrees ac is called hypotenuse hypotenuse bc is opposite side to the angle theta ab is adjacent side to the angle theta ac is hypotenuse now what is about uh, trigonometric ratios now trigonometric ratio is nothing but it is the the ratio between the ratio between the ratio between the lengths of a pair of two sides of a right angle triangle is called trigonometric ratio so it is a ratio of two sides you that may be bc by ab or ab and ac or ac and uh, ac and bc so any ratio of two sides so that means it is a bc by ac or maybe it is a ab by ac or it is maybe uh, abc by bc by ab or we can take a reciprocal for this ac by Uh, bc r ac by ab r it is a uh, ab by bc we have six ratios bc by ac ab by ac bc by ab ac by bc ac by ab ab by bc now this is bc means what is it opposite side to opposite side to angle theta by hypotenuse hypotenuse this is uh, ab by ac that is adjacent side by adjacent side by side to angle theta by hypotenuse hypotenuse next bc bc by bc means opposite side by opposite side by opposite side to angle theta by adjacent side adjacent side to angle theta next what about ac ac means hypotenuse by hypotenuse by hypotenuse by bc opposite to angle opposite side to angle theta next ac by ab ac means hypotenuse by hypotenuse by hypotenuse by adjacent side adjacent side this is adjacent side by adjacent side by opposite side so here this is the ratio of opposite side by hypotenuse it is a, here it is a sin theta or sin next to adjacent side to angle theta by hypotenuse it is it is a cosine or cos theta cosine of angle or cos theta it is a opposite side to the angle theta by adjacent side to the angle theta is a tan theta here hypotenuse by opposite side hypotenuse by opposite side it is a cosec theta 
cosec theta hypotenuse by adjacent side it is a sec theta and uh, adjacent side by opposite side it is a cot theta so from this sin theta is equal to opposite side by hypotenuse cos theta is equal to adjacent side by hypotenuse tan theta is equal to opposite side by adjacent side cosec theta is equal to hypotenuse by opposite side sec theta is equal to hypotenuse by adjacent side and cot theta is equal to adjacent side by opposite side now now well, let me see one of the example from the figure so figure is it is 90 degrees a b c here 5 here 13 now here first of all we have to find the side b c so given given AC is equal to 13, AB is equal to 5. We don't know the side BC. By the it is a right angle triangle. So by the Pythagoras theorem, by the Pythagoras theorem, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to sum of the squares of the remaining two sides. So here AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. So 13 square is equal to AB square. 5 square plus BC square. So 13 square means 169 is equal to 25 plus BC square. 169 minus 25 is equal to BC square. 169 minus 25 means 144 is equal to BC square. 12 square is equal to BC square. So therefore BC is equal to 12. So here we got that BC equal to 12. Now what about first one? First one is a sin C. Sorry sin A. Sin A means opposite side by opposite side by hypotenuse. That is the opposite side to the angle A. Here it is the angle A. The opposite side to the angle A is BC. So here BC by hypotenuse AC. So BC is 12 by 13. Next to second one. Cos C. Cos C means here cos C means adjacent. Adjacent side by hypotenuse. What is adjacent side? Adjacent side to the angle C. Here it is angle C. Adjacent side means BC. BC by AC so that is nothing but 12 by 13 next show what about next one third one tan A tan A is equal to opposite side by opposite side by adjacent side so what is the opposite side to the angle A opposite to the opposite side is BC and adjacent side is AB. So opposite side means uh, this is angle. This is opposite to the angle A. This is opposite side BC. By adjacent side. Here it is adjacent to the angle AB. So that is uh, 12 by 5. Next to fourth one. Cosec A. Cosec A. Cosec A means hypotenuse by opposite side. What is the hypotenuse? Hypotenuse is AC by opposite to the angle A. Opposite to the angle A means BC. So that is nothing but 13 by 12. Well, for fifth one, first of all, we have to find sec A. Sec A means hypotenuse by adjacent side. So hypotenuse that is AC by adjacent side adjacent to the angle A adjacent to, to the angle A means AB so AC by AB AC means 13 by 5 what is the square of this one we will get sec square A is equal to 13 square by 5 square so 169 by 25 Next to second one tan square A. So to find the tan square A first of all we have to find tan A. 
tan a means opposite side by opposite side by adjacent side adjacent side so tan a is equal to opposite side to the angle a opposite side to the angle a is bc bc by adjacent angle ab so tan a is equal to we will get 12 by 5 square of this tan square a is equal to 12 square means 144 5 square means 25 next uh, sec square a minus tan square a so sec square a means 169 by 25 minus tan square a 144 minus 25 so lcm is 25 169 minus 144 so that is equal to 25 by 25 that is equal to 1 therefore sec square a minus tan square a is equal to 1 so finally we got that sec square a minus tan square a equal to 1 okay second example in a right angle triangle if uh, angle a is acute angle and cot a is equal to 4 by 3 so here here angle a is a acute angle so a b c so given cot a is equal to 4 by 3 cot a means adjacent side by adjacent side by opposite side is equal to 4 by 3 so what is opposite side and adjacent side this is adjacent side it is a opposite side so ab by ab by bc is equal to 4 by 3 the ratio of ab and ab and bc is 4 4 is to 3 so ab is equal to we will get some 4x and bc is equal to some 3x so by the pythagoras theorem by the pythagoras theorem ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square so ac square is equal to ab square means 4x whole square plus 3x whole square so ac square is equal to 16x square plus 9x square that is a 25x square ac square ac is equal to root 25x square so that is a 5x so here we will get 5x here here opposite side is ab is 4x and bc is 3x next remaining trigonometric ratios the first one sin a sin a means opposite side by hypotenuse opposite side by hypotenuse what is opposite side opposite side is 3x by hypotenuse is 5x xx will get cancelled that is 5 3 by 5 next to second one cos a cos a means adjacent side by adjacent side by hypotenuse what is our adjacent side adjacent side is ab that is a 4x by 5x so that is a 4 by 5 next to third one tan a tan a means opposite side by opposite side by adjacent side what is opposite side opposite side means 3x by 4x here opposite side is 3x bc is opposite side and ab is adjacent side so 3x by 4x that is a 3 by 4 next to uh, sec a sec a means hypotenuse by hypotenuse by adjacent side so hypotenuse means here 5x by hypot adjacent side is a 4x so that is a 5 by 4 next to fifth one cosec a cosec a means hypotenuse by opposite side hypotenuse means 5x by opposite side 3x so these both will get cancelled that is 5 by 3 so from this sin a is equal to 3 by 5 
cos a is 4 by 5, tan a is 3 by 4, sec a is 5 by 4, cosec a is 5 by 3. Okay, man. next example. Here it is given 13 sin a is equal to 12. So sin a is equal to 12 by 12 by 13. So here it is a angle A. So sin A means opposite side by opposite side by hypotenuse is equal to 12 by 13. Opposite side means here it is A B C. So B C by A C is equal to 12 by 13. So B C by A C means B C is equal to 12x and AC is equal to 13x by the Pythagoras theorem by the Pythagoras theorem AC square is equal to AC square is equal to AB square plus here hypotenuse means AB square plus BC square hypotenuse AC square means 13x whole square is equal to AB square we don't know plus BC square BC square means 12x whole square so 169x square is equal to AB square is e plus 12 square x square means 144x square bring it to left side 169x square minus 144x square is equal to AB square 169x square minus 144x square means 25x square is equal to AB square. So from this we will get root 25x square equal to AB. So AB is equal to 5x. So AB is equal to 5x. So AB is equal to 5x and uh, uh, BC is equal to 12x and uh, AC equal to 13x. Now we have to find the sec A. Sec A is equal to hypotenuse by adjacent side. So sec A is equal to we will get hypotenuse means 13x by adjacent side 5x. xx cancel that is 13 by 5. Next to tan A. Tan A means opposite side by adjacent side. What is opposite side? Opposite side means 12x by 5x xx cancel that is 12 by 5 next uh, sec a minus sec a minus tan a sec a minus tan a means 13 by 5 minus 12 by 5 so that is uh, lcm is 5 13 minus 12 so that is 1 by 5 next uh, 1 by cos square Second one, for second one, first of all find out cos A. Cos A means adjacent side by hypotenuse. What is adjacent side? Adjacent side means 5x. 5x by 13x. So that is nothing but 5 by 13. 1 by cos A. Reciprocal. Reciprocal means we have to interchange the numerator and denominator. That is 13 by 5. Squaring on both sides. 1 by cos square x. Cos square a is equal to 169 by 5. And what about uh, tan square a? Tan square a is equal to. Here tan a 12 by 5. Tan square a means 144 by 25. Here also 5 square means 25. So 1 by cos square a minus tan square a is equal to 169 by 25 minus 144 by 25. So that is 25 by 25 that is equal to 1. So 1 by cos square minus tan square is equal to 1.